Alright, I just wanted to give you guys a first look of the new Heart uh, 20 volt fast charger. So it doesn't say on the box how fast it is, but it does online. This is a 3 amp uh, 20 volt charger for Heart batteries. So this is the f their first like dedicated high end charging base. Because before, what they used to have were, were these little things that you just clip onto the battery. I got two of them here. That's a really slow charger. That's like a half amp charger. And this is their two amp charger. And then the bricks are uh, right on the power strip itself. And these worked okay. For the price of the, you know, tools, it was whatever. But Heart is coming out with some pretty cool stuff. So this is nice. This is a good quality uh, feeling charger here. But yeah, so the quality and construction of it seems pretty good. Um, I had a part I forgot to read any uh, mold numbers or anything. Um, but it's, you know, just a charging case. Just a case with charging components in it. You can mount it, and they even have the measurements there, so that's pretty nice. Um, so, uh, yeah. It feels like the quality of any other Heart or Ryobi product, so it's not too bad. And it's nice if you're into the heart tool line. There's a lot of people that are starting to, to get into it because you can get really good deals on their tools at Walmart, and it's very convenient. Now, they're not amazing quality tools, but for the price, they're not bad. Uh, they're made by Tectonics Industries, um, who also makes Milwaukee, Ridge, and Ryobi. And they're going to make a quality tool, um, have a good baseline of decent quality, no matter what. So, um, this is a charger. It's white, just like all their other tools. So there's a heart there. It's fairly big. A lot of like, electronics in it. Um, weird thing is, power cable comes out of the side instead of the back of it. So that's kind of that's kind of different. I don't know why they did that, but we're going to take this apart and um, take a look at it. So, also got the new 4 amp hour heart batteries. Well, they're not new, it was just a special deal. And it actually has the battery percentage on there. Now, it is kind of the cheapo one where you have to hold it down if you want to look at it for a minute. Um, it doesn't stay on like the other ones, but at least it's there and that's very good. So, I got some heart vacuum cleaners that require the 4 amp hour more than some of the other tools. So, I got a deal where um, I got this charger, which is a $37 value. I got these two batteries, which is a, oh, let's see the price here. $79 for one battery. It came with two. Let's see, $120 value. And it came with another, like, battery pump or something like that. So it was a $200 value, all for $100. Very good deal that they were running um, for a specific day. So these did come pretty much dead. So we'll get them on this charger and charge them up. But let's go ahead and take this apart. Alright, so we got this open here. And we can see that the majority of its size is being used up. So we got some heat fins here. There's no fans, but there's some very large, you know, uh, uh, heat fins. I'm losing the correct term. But anywho... It's a pretty basic board. A lot of electronics in here. A uh, whole board's pretty being used pretty much. Um, things are spaced out apart, uh, spaced out pretty far from each other, so it's not compact, but it is better for cooling and, and longevity. These have a three-year warranty. Um, TTI part numbers, so this is made by TTI, and then they have their code here for warranty and repair purposes. And right here we see this cable coming in the side here, and this is the front of it. So a lot of things in some goop here, just kind of holding things in place. Um, it's a basic design, and that's kind of what Heart products are and Ryobi products. Uh, a lot of these are used for Ryobi as well. Um, but it's made to be easily assembled. So we see the cable here. And they have it twisted around here, so it doesn't like rip off or anything. That's decent design. It's an okay quality cable, um, but it looks like like an oversight of where the power is going into the the circuit board. And then 
they designed the case and was like, oh, well, we had this coming in through the side. And they said, oh, well, we're not redesigning the circuit board. It is what it is. So that's kind of a a design fail on their end. But it's not that big of a deal. $37 is a fairly competitive price. Well, even cheaper than a lot for the charger. So it, it's a pretty good deal, and you're going to get what you get. But, uh, yeah, nothing nothing too terrible. All decent uh, components here. Um, I don't see... Um, no name brands. It's not a Rubicon. It's a G-Con. <laughs> whatever that is. But Rubicon is a good quality uh, capacitor manufacturer. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, not too bad here. So, you know, pretty much the same as any Ryobi product. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get this back together. The, the screws were a little bit bigger than average, so you're not destroying the heads on them if you do have to try to take this apart to repair it. But yeah, pretty decent. Um, we might take apart one of these battery packs and see if they're used in any name brand cells. With the two amp hours, they're just basic no-name Chinese cells. Um, but they might be using something better with these, who knows. They are way more expensive. The pricing on these batteries is not cheap, uh, even compared to like you know, Milwaukee stuff, it's not affordable, and they're not that great quality cells, so, uh, or that great quality batteries, so, um, yeah, it's just, your battery dies, stops charging, and you have to buy another battery, and they're gonna get you for that, uh, that's kind of how that goes, but, yeah, that's just my quick review of the Newhart, uh, 20 volt, 3 amp charger, uh, I want more, uh, stuff like this, subscribe, comment, and like the video or dislike it if it was terrible. Alright, thanks for watching.